This is the fifth installment of the Magello Journal, where I swatch, mix, and paint with a selected color from Magello's Mission Gold Pure Pigment Set. Hey, that box wasn't cheap. I've got to milk all the content I can squeeze out of it. Thankfully, there's no shortage of lovely colors to choose from, and today it's Cobalt Cerulean Blue Deep. The pigment, PB36, is known as Cobalt Chromium Oxide, and it's used by Daniel Smith, M. Graham, and Da Vinci in their versions of Cerulean Blue, Cerulean Blue Deep, and Cobalt Turquoise. Semi-opaque, non to moderately staining, highly light fast, and with minimal drying shift, it appears to be both a popular and reliable pigment. If I forget to mention the tools and supplies used here, just refer to the description. I try to list everything there along with links and such. For example, there should be a link to the playlist of all the videos in this Magello series. That reminds me, the paper here is 100% cotton from the B Paper Company. It's the 8 inch by 8 inch size of their B Creative watercolor journal. Unfortunately, this particular item hasn't been available for quite a while, and considering the restocking dates keep getting pushed out on sites such as Amazon and Blick, they might not be available in the future, which is kinda sucky. Because here I am showing you all a product you can't even purchase. The only other 100% cotton journal I have experience with is the Shizen Rough, which I like and have featured in several videos, but it is so texturally different that I'm wary of recommending it in this instance. Then again, that could just be me overthinking things, which I'm embarrassed to say doesn't happen often. During the mixing process, I found the pairings with other blues to be unexciting, so I didn't include any here, whereas the combinations with reds and browns really appealed to me. I realize my shorthand is probably confusing, so I'll name the 12 colors I chose to mix with. In the first row, it's Quinophthalone Yellow Light, Permanent Yellow Deep, Red Orange, and Quinacridone Red. The second row has Rose Matter, Quinacridone Permanent Rose, Quinacridone Violet, and Green Gold. The third row contains Yellow Ochre Number 2, Burnt Sienna Number 2, Red Brown, and Van Dyke Brown.
for the painting portion, my inspiration came from YouTuber Jay Lee. His channel has been around for years, and I find his watercolor florals delightful. So this was me trying to emulate his technique. Now, Mission Gold watercolors are not known for movement or flow, or perhaps the word I'm looking for is dispersion. But I like the results regardless. I've got a confession. For a while, I was anti-floral. I know, it sounds crazy, right? But there was a period where I was getting loose watercolor floral videos recommended to me, like, all of the time. To the point where I was eye-twitching and muttering, if I see another thumbnail for a loose watercolor floral... The thing is, that attitude was coming from a place of envy. I mean, I wish I could paint as well as some of those artists. So doing this painting is acknowledging that and moving on. Plus, it was really fun, too. Those who've been with this channel for a while know that around here, arting often goes hand in hand with reminiscing. And something that's been on my mind is an old piece of furniture from my childhood home. I believe it was what's called a Governor Winthrop drop front desk. I'll link to a video of one that's similar to what we had. It was common to pair the piece with a coordinating cabinet that would sit on top, but neither ours nor the one in the video had that piece. There weren't a lot of fancy things in our house, so as a child, I was fascinated with the details. The curved drawers, the decorative hardware, the support mechanisms, and the secret storage cubbies. It was mostly filled with important documents like our birth certificates and inoculation records. All boring stuff to a 10-year-old. But it also held our mom's stash of greeting cards for all occasions. I would pull up a chair, open the middle drawer, and peruse boxes of cards with pretty pictures. Songbirds for thank you, wildflowers for get well, and antique automobiles for, well, I'm not sure what those were for. I haven't seen that piece of furniture in decades, but I keep imagining it in my studio. What a great workstation it would have made. Or, at the very least, an impressive backdrop for the videos. 
I am happy to share this arting experience. We're five colors into this set of 34 Mission Gold paints, and each one has been a pleasure so far. Part of me kind of wants one of these to crash and burn, just so I can say, this is the worst ultramarine ever. It smells like onions and attacked the cat. Wouldn't that shake things up? Until next time, stay artsy, my friends.